Hello and welcome to another episode of the Amchi Legends. Well, on today's episode, we have a very distinguished gentleman joining from Hyderabad. Uh, one who is from our community, of course. And the fact is he's one of the pillars, a very strong pillar in our community and more so in South, more so in Hyderabad. And while I was doing research on uh, Mohan Mam Hemadi, and I'm gonna talk a lot more to him, I came across this very interesting article and I'm gonna really read out that to you. You know, it is said that life is measured today, not by the breath we take, but by the moments, you know, that we take our breath away, right? If that's the parameter for measuring one's lifetime's achievements, Mohan Mam Hemadi is his life which surely rank as a truly cherished one. And we're going to get to know a lot more about that. For he has over decades, right, created several such magical musical memories for countries, for the nation. And not just that, he is, in fact, uh, so far as Hyderabad is concerned, and in fact, our community is concerned, he's one of those, you know, I would say, a cultural ambassadors in the cultural landscape. He has truly created an amazing sweet spot for him, the name for recognition. Hello and welcome to another episode of Amchi Legends. And joining me from Hyderabad is Mohan Mam Hemadi. Hi, Mohan Mam. How are things? Hello, Hello Santosh Mam. Thank you for having me in your Amchi episode. Thank you so much, Mohan Mam. Uh, you know, uh, even before we talk about your musical journey, the connects that you've had, uh, a little bit into your career, what I gather is uh, you actually started selling coffee uh, into very re few restaurants, right? How did this whole star thing begin? I came to Bangalore in the year 1953. Uh -huh. and, uh, my brother brought me there. And since I had not even passed my school, hmm. I didn't know what to do. And uh, I came across a friend who said, why don't you start selling coffee powder uh -huh. and we started uh, preparing coffee seeds and roasting and then making powder and then selling it to the restaurants that is okay. how i started my life uh -huh. and uh, i did it for some time but as you know the restaurant started uh, delaying the payments and mm. i was taken for a ride so i i had to stop that okay okay uh, you know, you, there's a very interesting <laughs> episode that I know, and maybe you should talk about it, is about, uh, you know, that uh, uh, you, you, you knew the Mangeshkar family pretty well. And, and I guess, yes. uh, uh, you know, that, that journey, you know, where Miss, uh, Miss, where Miss Lata Mangeshkar actually called you that she wanted to be in Hyderabad. And I guess that was during the 1962 Indochina War. Maybe you should tell more about that. Yeah, uh, this was in 1962 when I was running a roadside scooter workshop, uh -huh. and it was Lataji who called me up and said she wanted to do a concert. Mm -hmm. In many of the concerts she planned all over, but starting from Hyderabad, yeah. mainly to raise funds for the national defense, because at that time the uh, war was going on with China. Hmm. And she brought the whole family, Mangeshkar, whole family, including Asaji, Usha, Meena, Hridayanath, and even they brought her mother also, because for this concert was really something uh, which we were looking forward to. Okay, okay. How her how brother, how did you yeah how do you know the Mangeshkars uh, as 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 a as more or less family friend well, right? I used to stay in Sonola building Tardeo. Mm -hmm. And uh, in in many places in Sonala building, I used to meet uh, Pandit Taranadi, who was a great tabla player, Pandit Dinkar Kaikini. And uh, then I came across uh, a friend of mine, a young friend, who used to do uh, dancing. Uh -huh. uh, dancing means uh, the filmy dance. Mm -hmm. And he became popular with the Mangeshkar family. So one day he said, why don't you come with me? I'll take you to this family during this Ganesh Chaturthi, when they had this uh, events, uh, you know, musical nights uh, okay. by uh, Rejainath Mangeshkar. Okay. And uh, 
he used to have an orchestra called surel sangeet uh, something uh -huh. like that okay and that time uh, lakshmikant and pyarelal were very young uh -huh. they used to come holding their mandolin and violin okay for this uh, event okay okay that's so how you got that to is know. How, okay that is how we i came to know this family and especially rizainath rizainath used uh, he he had a polio problem uh -huh. and he, he was not going to school mm. and what i used to do is from my uh, i used to be in st javier's high school mm. and after school i used to go to his house play carrom for few uh, hours and then go back home okay that is how i started my friendship with this family and okay. uh, that was something uh, i feel uh, brought me into music because uh, in their house i have seen uh, uh, great uh, stalwarts like ustad salamat ali hmm. bade gulam ali khan and bimsen joshi and amir khan sir they used to come and sing for her and that is how i came into this uh, okay. music uh, field okay so so when when lata mangeshkar came to hyderabad and i believe there was heavy rains and the whole thing got postponed yeah. something very interesting happened right and you had to get married right what was that it incident was, it, it was in december in uh, it was very cold those days and we had put up a shamiana on the whole nizam college ground which could take about 5000 people hmm. and we we had everything arranged for the next evening but that previous evening it rained so badly that the whole shamiana came down and everything was in a mess so we had to postpone the whole program by a week and i was so engrossed with this whole thing that i had to take care of the whole family and the musicians they were not prepared to go back to bombay so i had to take care of them and uh, it happened that uh, uh when i was planning the next program uh -huh. i realized that uh, after the program it there was only 3 days for my wedding in bombay okay and uh, i had not even sent invitations to any of my friends and relations and i was in a big mess as to how i could reach bombay because at that time the trains and Uh, there was only one flight of dakota going to bombay uh -huh. which had only 40 seats so lata ji was kind enough to tell me if i could manage with the indian airlines uh -huh. she will follow her seat and give it to me okay and she would she would go in the train with all the others including her family members wow and wow. that i was very much touched uh, by her uh, what she did for me that was the biggest present i think and my family in bombay who were uh, looking forward for my coming to bombay they were surprised that i made it somehow ah, interesting really very they interesting worried. they were all worried whether i would make it or not but fortunately i was able to make it yeah okay the program was a big success and mm -hmm. uh, uh, she she was very thankful to me for what i did for her okay very very interesting uh, mohan mam sur mandal right uh, one of yeah. one of yeah. your pioneering activities and and actually konkani association of hyderabad you have been associated so closely with music music and and when i see you know some of the musicians that you have been associated with pandit rajan and sajan mishra legend pandit bhim sen ji gazal maestro mandi hasan pandit ravi shankar ji of course we're going to talk a lot more about all this the list is absolutely endless tell us about uh, sur mandal and its origins i'll start with sur mandal hmm. <coughs> this was in 1960s when few of our friends we used to meet uh, with families at a, a certain place where we used to play our recordings whatever we had live hmm. recordings or records of uh, karnatak or english music on a saturday every month hmm. and we used to sit and uh, there was no gossiping we used to just listen to the music break for coffee for half an hour and again listen to the music and that is how we came closer okay around 10 10 families and uh, 
one day it uh, it happened that uh, i used to go to ustad bade golam ali khan who stayed very near my house uh, to offer him medicines and cigarettes and i even uh, uh, gave the uh, powers bed which is required for old age hmm. for him to sit and you know bend so i used to do all that and one day he told his son munawar ali that he would like to visit my house which was a big surprise for me Mm-hmm. and when i told my friend that this is what he wants to do they all joined me and said since he's coming why not we all join and give him a good purse and mm-hmm. also present him whatever he likes so that is how when he came home i was surprised he came with crutches uh, i had sent a photograph to you on that yeah uh, he came on crutches and he came with his son munawar ali and he sat for nearly 2 hours Mm-hmm. and which uh, we played some of his recordings like ayana balam mm-hmm. and uh, haryom tatsat haryom tatsat was something out of the world because a muslim singing haryom tatsat in that way mm-hmm. was very surprising and it was so pleasant mm-hmm. so after that uh, ustad ji said mohan bhai aap kya music circle shuru kyun nahi karte so i told him you bless us and we will start and you won't believe he said i will give you the name of your music circle and he said soramandal which he used to play he said it is very close to my heart okay. but i will name it i will name it soramandal because i want your mandal to be in sur hmm. that is how he blessed us and we started but when we started he was no more and it was pandit bimsen joshi who inaugurated our music circle in 1969 uh-huh. and whenever he came later he used to announce that i am the opening batsman of surmandal okay i mean jokingly but yeah. uh, he was kind enough to say that indeed you yeah. were actually yeah and and konkani association of hyderabad so much of immense work that you have put in your effort your hard work in you know fund generation yeah. uh, it, it, uh, if you could share more about it yeah. konkani association was started by a few top uh, uh, ias and ics and hoteliers of hyderabad and this was not uh, just uh, gsb or sb we had christians and even navaitis uh-huh. of patkal who spoke okay. konkani hmm. to become members and uh, this is when we started in 1965 hmm. i was only a uh, member of the uh, uh, association till 1982 mm-hmm. when uh, we decided to have a concert uh, dedicated to pandit uh, dinanath mangeshkar and that was the 40th anniversary okay and we had is uh, uh, the event in an open stadium which is one of the biggest stadium called lal bahadur stadium and uh, this program went on for 3 days and we had uh, most of the top uh, musicians of uh, india standing with uh, dr balamurli krishna pandit birju maharaj pandit uh, jasraj uh, girja devi chitti babu who played the veena uh-huh. and padma subramanian which okay. was a great success okay for us. and okay. that is how we uh, and we raised funds from that and you will be surprised i even went to bombay to collect funds from a person like dhirubhai ambani uh-huh. who was kind enough to donate those days in 90s 80s 25000 was a big sum and uh, i had gone with the treasurer of uh, konkani association and also the chairman of syndicate bank and dhirubhai ambani was so happy to help us and and then he started talking to me and when i answered him in uh, gujarati he was so happy and he took my visiting card and said he will keep in touch with me uh-huh. and you will be surprised he sent me a personal invitation for his son mukesh's marriage oh interesting which i okay. went and attended personally uh-huh. Uh-huh. and uh, paid my respects okay that that's very interesting that's to know you know you had so much of fantastic association some of the most celebrated musical artists 
cricketers i gil i believe a lot of west indies cricketers uh, in the 50s and and i yes. also know that uh, you know mf hussain ji uh, who 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 apparently through a professional contact you you came into with a pro professional contact maybe you could share something more about it but that association yeah, i'll tell you i'll tell you first about mf hussain yeah uh, it was uh, a big advertising company called onm and uh, the present chairman is mr piyush pandey hmm he was a close friend of mine so he called me up one day and said uh, uh, one of their clients were titan watches and they were planning to have three celebrities like uh, hari prasad chaurasia zakir hussain and emma hussain to pose for them not with their faces but only hmm. with their hands hmm. and uh, wearing the titan watch yeah and uh, that is how i asked zakir by Hari Prasad ji and M. F. Hussain to pose for that with just the hands, and when it came to M. F. Hussain, it was shown that he was carrying a brush mm -hmm. and only his hands, and that is how I came close to M. F. Hussain because just in fifteen minutes photography, they could all the three of could earn one point two lakhs those days, which, which are about twenty five thirty years back, which was a big sum. So. Hussain was uh, very happy to meet me and invited me for lunch in one of the five star hotels so that evening i was to take the flight so uh, when he invited i went there and uh, then he gave me a handwritten uh, invitation of his uh, son's wedding which was guest uh, the next day okay so when i saw the invitation i said i would have very much loved to be there but <coughs> tomorrow is my A wedding anniversary, and I have to be in Hyderabad. So what he did was he asked me for a blank paper, and he just took out his sketch pen, and what he did was uh, he just made a sketch in maybe five minutes, and gave it to me and said, "This is for you and your wife. Now at least uh, can you stay back for the?" Uh, uh, so I told him, uh, "I." i have to go back i'll go today and i'll try to come back tomorrow you won't believe i flew to hyderabad gave my wife dinner next day i gave her breakfast and lunch we went to the temple and i told her i have to go back when i showed her the uh, photo of uh, yeah. that uh, uh, that beautiful card yeah. which she made for it. us yeah mm. uh, so i said let me go and come back tomorrow itself Hmm. so i took the 3 o'clock flight to bombay and there i was at 6:30 for the wedding and mf hussain was so surprised he gave me a hug and he said he he it was a surprise that i have come all the way again just for the wedding i said awesome. that is uh, that is our relationship awesome. great artist yeah yeah absolutely yeah. in fact uh, you 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 uh, your association with mother teresa uh, maybe you should share yes. something with our listeners uh, you know very personal touch she came and you you know you guys met uh, tell us little more about it mother teresa used to come to hyderabad very often because they had a place uh, for the dying destitutes which she, uh, they would carry the dying people on the road take them to the place and help them yeah and i was involved because i used to uh, from the programs i used to make them i used to make some money out of it and i used to prepare beds and pots and all that for those inmates mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mother teresa was uh, kind to me and she used to phone the sisters in hyderabad that she would like to have me at the airport to receive her and take her to all the places she used to go okay. and that is when i went to the airport to receive her myself and took her in my small maruti car which she, uh, she didn't mind though she could have gone in a mercedes but she came in my car and i used to take her around for all the days she used to be there many a times in the evening i used to get tired but this great lady she would touch my shoulder and said god bless you my son and oh. that is how i used to get more energy mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. incident i must share with you was uh, 
when uh, Mother Teresa wanted to meet the then Chief Minister of uh, Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Chenna Reddy. Mm -hmm. We were called to the uh, assembly hall and when we went in, we were given all uh, VIP treatment. We went and sat in his chamber and uh, he came out from the assembly and met her. And I knew Chenna Reddy's son because we were in Rotary together. She, uh, he, he said, why have you brought Mother Teresa here? So Mother said, today it is my work. So I requested Mohan to take me to your place. Next time when you have something to do, you can come to me. But today I need your help because we are in a uh, destitute home, which is by the municipal corporation. And I want you to donate that place to us so that we can carry on this work. And that is when Chenna Reddy immediately said, see that this is done immediately. I was so happy. And then from the assembly, my house was very near. She said, you have done so much for me. Why don't you take me to your home? And she, she came home and blessed my children. And she said, I bless you. And she said, a family that prays together, uh, are, always, are always together. together. Yeah, yeah, that's indeed great. Yeah, so yeah. That is what she told me. Yeah. You know, I, I was seeing that your association with musicians, you know, right from uh, Indian musicians, right up to Richard Clayderman and also Paul Livingstone. How, how, how has that been experienced? Well, uh, it started with Pandit Ravi Shankar, who used to stay in Sonala buildings where I used to stay. Uh -huh. And uh, as you know, the number one building was about the pharmacy. He used to stay on the fourth floor which belonged to a friend of mine, Mr. Joshipura. So he used to come and stay there. And one day I was fascinated to see him going all the way up, taking this big sitar, which I didn't know what it was. So when he went up, the, uh, the family members invited me and uh, introduced me to Pandit Ravi Shankar. And he said, would you like to hear what I'm playing? So I said, definitely. So he opened and he, he was practicing. And when I heard the first notes of the sitar, it was so captivating and meditating that I fell in love with the sitar and also with this person because he was so handsome. Though he was a short chap, he was so handsome and uh, I fell in love with him too and we became dear friends. I was there when uh, he performed for our Anandasan Swamiji in Santa Cruz and later on, I had the opportunity of having him and Shashi Bellare, a famous uh, tabla player from Bombay. Hmm. They, yeah. they played together at uh, Chitrapur Mat uh, in uh, Bangalore. Hmm. And one more important thing I must share with you was in 1980, when he completed 60 years, we had honored him in Hyderabad. Uh -huh. And after that, uh, we had a concert in uh, Mangalore for a fundraising event which I did with one, one of my friends. He said, I have got three or four days uh, free. Why not we go to Shirali Mart? I was surprised and we arranged a car for him to come with me. So I took him on the way to Irgunji, Moldeshwar and uh, Shirali. And then he said, all these are names, uh, the surnames are known to me because Shirali was one person who was very close to Ravaji. So that evening, he, he was, uh, he was uh, attending the event at uh, the Mutt where okay. Gurudat Shukla was doing the, uh, you know, Anusta, you know, the event, e evening prayers and all yeah. that. Hmm. He was so impressed that next day, he surprised us by coming with his sitar. After the breakfast, he came with his sitar and said, today I want to play before the... Uh, Samadhi of Anandarshan Swamiji and also uh, of Lord Bhavani Shankar. And after he played, he mentioned to me that he played a new rag which was called Bhavani Bhairav. Oh. Bhavani Bhairav is a morning rag and Bhavani and Shankar, another name for Shankar was Bhairav. So he called it Bhavani Bhairav. And that was the first time he performed 
and it became very popular. And so I was very much involved. And then I took him to Mukrambika temple. Uh, you know, he was so happy that all these places he had not seen at all. He was very happy too. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So Mohan Maam, uh, you mentioned about Mutt and Swamiji. You have been very, very closely associated with our Mutt and you've done some immense work for the Mutt. Uh, one of them, of course, no Amchi can forget is the, you know, your, uh, your connect uh, with the Indian Railway Ministry and to get the sanction and getting the railway station, Chitrapur railway station. Tell us about what exactly happened behind the scenes. We all knew that you were very instrumental, but what really happened behind the scenes? Maybe you can share with us. Well, it happened one year when uh, uh, Swamiji had come to Hyderabad for Navratri. And he was uh, honoring a few of our Amchis hmm. who have done uh, great work for the Mutt and for the Amchis like uh, uh, Nalkur Sripadma. You mm -hmm. know, he's yeah. one of the top most. Uh, and then we had... Uh, Shanta Rameshwar Rao, hmm. who was the uh, head of the school in Hyderabad, which is one of the uh, very good schools uh, called Vidyaranya. Hmm. And it is based on J. Krishnamurti's uh, uh, you know, same hmm. thing like Rishi Valley. Hmm. So okay. that is how um, we honored. And then I had called my dear friend Bandaru Dattatre. I knew him from many, many years and uh, we were close. I was not into politics, but uh, we became very close friends. And uh, we honored him that day. And while honoring him, I made a request. I said, during Navratri, if we offer our prayers to the goddess, she definitely answers our prayers. And today, it is my request to both our goddess and Swamiji to see that Bandaru Dattatre helps us with a railway station in Shirali. And the railway line used to go from near our mud. Mm -hmm. So I told him if this could happen, we will be grateful to him. Mm. And immediately he, when he was honored by Swamiji, he said, definitely I will look into it and do as early as possible. Hmm. I couldn't believe him because most of the uh, politicians promise and they don't do it. But here is a man who did it in quite a fast time because uh, one day he called me to his uh, quarters and he said, uh, what are you doing this evening? I said, I am going back home after the office. He said, come with me tonight. I am taking you by flight to Bombay tomorrow morning to Vasco. And from Vasco, we will go by car to Madgao. And from Madgao, I have to go to Udupi for an event. Uh -huh. And I will, I will stop by at the mud and have darshan of Swamiji. And uh, it was in the train, the special train. Mm -hmm. We were having breakfast. And he suddenly said, uh, I would like to do Bhumi Pujan of this uh, station. Wow. I was so surprised. I didn't know what to do. Then immediately I called up the manager of the mutt uh -huh. and said, please arrange to see that the pujaris are, you know, our birthday moms are, yeah, uh, are around, called yeah. up and uh, make arrangements. Yeah. So in one and a half hours, we reached there and we got down at Moldeshwar hmm. because that was the station where we could get down. So we yeah. got down there and uh, we came by car straight to the place where this puja was to be performed. He okay. finished the puja in five minutes. Mm. We took him to the temple where he was given temple honors. Mm -hmm. And then I took him to the kutir where Swamiji stayed. And uh, we had a long chat with Swamiji. And uh, at that time, Swamiji uh, requested him to call the place Chitrapur rather mm. than Shirali. Okay. okay. So he immediately said, Mohan Bhai has already told me about this and this will be done. Wow. And then he said, uh, Swamiji asked, how soon will this take place? Be ready. Yeah. He won't believe. He said it will come up very soon. And it was a surprise not only for our Ramchis, but the whole of India. Because in 25 days, the railway station was 
has started to operate wow which is one of the uh, i mean uh, first ever event which has happened in indian railways so wow, i'm really record by itself to, yeah it's a record amazing so i'm grateful to bandaru ji for this okay. in fact you 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 also arranged a meeting uh, swami ji's meeting with uh, president kalam uh, right in the rashtrapati yeah. bhavan uh, we we all yeah. see the pictures on kanra saraswat magazine tell us a little more about that we also intrigued to know what exactly was yeah. the meeting what happened many many of our uh, people are taking uh, uh, you know they say that it was due to them that this happened but i was a quiet worker who new some of the ias officers in hyderabad uh-huh. who had close connections with the ias officers we were close to our uh, president and uh-huh. that is how the meeting was arranged and will be surprised uh, when i took swami ji i asked swami ji who all you want to take inside i am i am not that keen that i should come but mm. i have to give a list of people who are going to meet the president yeah. so mm. he said no you are go- definitely going to be there and then it took uh, mr vinod enemedi who became the president later mm. and uh, ravi padukon mm. and uh, uh, bhatri also mm. we went and uh, we sat uh, swami ji was made to sit in a beautiful chair mm. abdul kalam sahab came bowed down to swami ji and offered fruits which was a big surprise for me because the president bowing down to somebody yeah. is unknown and Absolutely. that is what happened and uh, mm. that is when uh, i i uh, went with swami ji and later on after all the talks with swami ji i had the opportunity to uh, present him a coffee table book which i had brought out on pandit ravi shankar uh-huh. and three, three cds of live concerts of one chitti babu and one mm. balchandar the veena players because uh-huh. abdul kalam sahab used to play veena yes correct so yeah. at that time i made a small request to him i said uh, in the times of india i have seen that uh, when you went to bombay you went out of the way uh, there was no protocol you straight away went to rk lakshman's house because he was not keeping well hmm. rk hmm. lakshman was the same yeah times of india cartoonist, cartoonist. yeah was a close friend yeah so i made a request to him that uh, uh, i would request you next time when you go to pune you should meet one of our greatest legends pandit bimsen joshi Hmm. He immediately called the ADC and said, "Take down his address and phone number. Hmm. Next time I am in Pune, I will go and meet him. Hmm. Wow. You will be surprised. He went to his house, sat for half an hour, had a chat with him, and hmm. I am so happy that I was able to do that for him. Amazing. For all this, I am not taking any uh, credit for it. Even for the railway station, it is all due to the Guru Param for our blessings." that i was able to do it and here also with bimsen joshi yeah. i had taken bimsen joshi to the pune mart also uh-huh. to meet our swami ji and uh-huh. he was so happy uh-huh. you, that that, that that's your that's the beauty of your simplicity your humble lifestyle your living uh, mohan mam in fact your association with pandit ravi shankar ji and and more so uh, as you mentioned you know knew him since you know sonavala days uh but also uh, you were you were one of uh, the key persons uh, for celebrating the festival of india taking india's culture to moscow to united states to a lot of indian uh, you know indian culture to ma- many many countries of the world tell us about that association yes. with so many music artists i believe popul jaikar uh, nominated you to be one of yes. the key uh, organizers in fact it was uh, pandit ravi shankar who wrote a letter to popul jaikar that here is a person who had dedicated his life for music hmm. and for this purpose he should be one of your committee members for the festival of india in uh, usa yeah she yeah. she offered me to go to usa personally and offered me 25000 to be paid to the score artist uh-huh. uh, pandit ravi shankar ustad ali akbar khan allah rakha and zakir so when i met pandit ravi shankar he asked me how much money he would get so being you know national minded i said uh, here is a festival 
which is dedicated to India and you will be the first one to perform. Mm -hmm. So at the most, I think I will ask Air India to give you uh, first class air tickets mm. for, a, for a year or so. Mm. So you will have to perform free. So mm. he said, if others perform free, I will do that. Mm. And I was very happy that all the four agreed to perform and they were given Air India first class ticket yeah. to mm. India and back. Mm. So that is how I started for that. And then Moscow, uh, one of my friend was Mr. Ashit Desai. Uh -huh. He was the conductor of the orchestra. And they wanted a person who could manage these artists because, mm. you know, managing artists is something... Uh, Quite a challenge. Yeah. Yes. So I was taken there and then I was there for a month. We used to do rehearsals. I had to take the musicians on time for the rehearsals, everything. And I was so happy that uh, it turned out very well. And we even came out with a cassette and a CD called Inside the Kremlin. It was mm -hmm. uh, an uh, a event which had about 100 artists, not only of India, but of uh, USSR. Mm -hmm. And it was a great success. Okay. And later I, on, uh, and yeah. later on, uh, on 2nd October that year, because President Venkat Raman was there, mm. we had a uh, statue opening of uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. And you'll be surprised, Asha Bosley was there and she performed. She sang uh, Vaishnava Janato, okay. Vaishnava Janato and uh, Raghupati Raghu Rajaram. Okay. And, and I had the opportunity to film that. Wow. Hmm. So, yeah. I, I did I was, see that video you sent me and you have, uh, you know, Ronu Mojumdar on the flute. An absolutely yes. amazing uh, performance. Yeah. Yes. yeah yes. Absolutely. In fact, you also were very instrumental uh, where uh, there was a program where, uh, where Pandit Ravishankar Ji and also uh, Zubin Mehta, right? Uh, you also had that yes. uh, orchestra, yes. uh, symphony orchestra arranged. If you could share a little yes. more about I, that. I was chosen by Ravi Shankar to be his manager for this uh -huh. orchestra. And these were concerts which happened in Delhi, Calcutta, and Bombay. Mm -hmm. In Bombay, we had two concerts, one in uh, uh, Shanmukananda Hall and one in uh, Brebon Stadium. Okay. Brebon Stadium was the day when it was uh, Shashi Kapoor's birthday. Uh -huh. And they performed the song, Happy Birthday to You, on the sitar. Beautiful. And Shashi Kapoor was very happy. The Brebon Stadium was full with uh, people. Another concert I must uh, share with you sure. was a concert for uh, Baba Amte. Baba Amte, as you know, he is the pioneer in helping the lepers. Mm. Mm, and yeah. uh, I was asked by Lataji to sponsor an event in Bombay where in Brebon Stadium, uh, Mr. Aditya Birla was planning a big concert and they needed a sponsor. So hmm. when I was with VST, we had this uh, event sponsored in Brebon Stadium where we had Lata and Kishore Knight, and it was a great success. And I became a good friend of Baba Amte, who invited me to his ashram and took me to Hemal Kasa, where Prakash Amte, you know, you must be knowing, he yeah. has his yeah. uh, uh, place where he operates, where there's no electricity, there are uh, leopards and so many yeah. things mm. in the cage which he takes mm. care of. Mm. Mm. So that was yeah. one great thing. And one, yeah. one thing I must uh, tell you before I... Yeah. Uh, this was in 1974 when my son was born, my mm. son Siddharth. Mm. Uh, my wife was in the hospital and I had to go to Bombay to pick up my father mm. because he was the first grandson in the family. Mm -hmm. So I went by the morning flight, uh, leaving my wife in the hospital because she was being taken care of by her mother and my sister. Mm. So I went to Bombay and uh, in the morning and there were no flights in the evening to bring back my father. Mm -hmm. So I was, uh, whenever I go to Bombay, I used to see the uh, uh, Times of India. Yeah. So I saw an event happening that evening of Shiv Kumar Sharma, Hari Prasad Taurus, and Rakhir Hussain. Uh -huh. I went uh, with, uh, you know, uh, in Sonora building, there used to be Joshi Buddha Kaka's suites. Yeah, yes. So I went with uh, many suites for them. 
I went to the green room and when I opened it and told Zakir Bhai that uh, I have got a son, so I have come to take my father and I want to have your good wishes. He said, hey, it's a nature. So I said, uh, you tell me what you want me to do yeah. and I'm prepared. So they said, we are coming to celebrate his naming ceremony uh -huh. to Hyderabad. Wow. <laughs> and believe me, on the morning of his naming ceremony, all okay. the three of them came to Hyderabad and evening they were there for the cradle ceremony. Okay. And at night, from 9 o'clock to morning 5.30, all the three of them played for, uh, you know, first started with Shiv Kumar and Zakir Bhai, then Hari Prasad and Zakir Bhai. Mm -hmm. And later on, a South Indian flute player called Ramani, yeah. he also joined and said, I was also want to celebrate. Wow. So it was a North-South Jugal Bandi with Zakir Bhai on the tabla. Absolutely. It was something Absolutely. memorable. True, I can and imagine. Later on, and later on in Chitrapur Mat, that was the first time I had taken uh, Hari Prasad and uh, Shiv Kumar Sharma hmm. for my son's uh, Upanayana. Hmm. Hmm. And okay. uh, uh, one day before, uh, they performed before the uh, in presence of our beloved Karina Nasan Swami. And I shared the picture also with you. And uh, they were blessed by Swamiji. And my son was blessed by not only by Swamiji, but by these two artists. So Absolutely. This is, I mean, one of the events which I thought I should tell you. Of course, yeah, amazing, absolutely fantastic. In fact, uh, with, with Mrs. Indira Gandhi, right, when you met her, uh, you, yeah. you you actually showed a photograph what which you had clicked of Pandit Nehru, Jawaharlal yeah, Nehru. I, yeah, yeah I, you, I mean, so much of I, research that I've done, I come across so many amazing events. I think this interview is not going to be a small 20-minute show. It's going to be a lot more, and I'm sure our listeners are enjoying. Yeah, please carry on. Uh, this happened in uh, Bangalore when I used to do photography, not as a profession, but mm. uh, I used to be employed with Kirloskar Electric Company, where Mr. Ravi Kirloskar was fond of photography and he saw my interest. So he gave me a Rolleiflex camera and said, uh -huh. you go on clicking the photos both in the factory and wherever you want. So I, one day when... Pandit Nehru was coming to deliver a speech at uh, Central College in Bangalore. I had gone there and uh, sometimes I uh, get a chance to click the person at the right time. Yeah. So I found yeah. Nehru kissing a small girl. Hmm. I took that photograph and later on when I settled down in Hyderabad, uh, the Jawahar Bal Bhavan, hmm. which was uh, dedicated to Devala hmm. Nehru. Hmm. They wanted a big photograph of Nehru. So I donated to them a very big photograph at the entrance. And Indira was inaugurated. And when he saw this picture, uh, she was so touched. She called the chief minister who was standing next to her. She said, can you help me with getting a photograph of this? So the then chief minister was Mr. Brahmanan Reddy. I knew him personally. He immediately told me, because I was standing with my daughter when she was giving the autograph. You must be knowing Sarmila. Yeah. So uh, that evening when I uh, I sat the whole night making two copies of that photograph, because, you know, it had to be very perfectly done. Hmm. So I took this to the airport. And okay. uh, when I was presenting wow. her, her, she was so happy. Then I said, can you give me an autograph for for my yeah. sake. Yeah. So I took out my pen. Unfortunately, it didn't work. You would you'd be surprised. She took out from a small purse which she was carrying a eyebrow pencil. Okay. And she wrote for me. If you have seen that in that photo, she, she has mentioned, uh, I think she has written some nice words. Beautiful words. Okay. Mm, amazing. Yeah, in that yeah. photo. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. So much of close association with some of the most top personalities of India, right? M. S. Subalakshmi, tell her about tell us about her her association. Um, when I was with VST Industries, we used to have an event in Chennai uh, at the Music Academy, which is one of the topmost uh, music circles 
where they have one month of uh, non-stop music all over all the time and i knew mr tt vasu who was the chairman of uh, music academy yeah so we had an arrangement with them that uh, we have a december 31st night and first evening concert of hindustan okay. one day in uh, we could have instrumental and one day vocal okay so that is how uh, we started doing that and uh, i mainly ravi shankar used to play on january uh, december 31st because mm. people used to sit till 12 and then yeah. new year yeah. say, happy new year and then but later on uh, you know the south indians they they go out by 10 o'clock so yeah. then he stopped uh, playing after 10 30 11 okay. and next evening used to be a vocal instrument a vocal music like uh, bimsen joshi rashid khan mm. kishor yamankar and so many other artists i used to rajan yeah. sajan mishra Mm. so on january 1st what i used to do i used to get up early and then i used to go to ms subalakshmi's house i knew her personally but mm. i knew her under husband mm. and uh, i used to sit before her for 5 minutes mm. just looking at her feet mm. on the floor i used to sit mm. and then i used to open my eyes and see her face and she used to wear uh, diamonds on her years and on the yeah. nose on both sides yeah and she she used to look like a goddess so i used to just uh, bow my head and pray and go out mm. and one day her husband asked me uh, he said you come every year for the last 10 years you just come you sit there and just go away mm. today you have this spicum you know the some yes, south indian uh, yeah south indian indian yeah yeah and he asked me what makes you to come here do you want a program i said no i am not coming for that if you give me a program i'll be too happy but otherwise i'm fine so then i told him that uh, many many of our indians they go to tirupati mm. on december 31st just to pray, go and pray there and wash away their sins mm. Mm-hmm. here i find a living goddess yeah so i come here to pray to her because she is for me lord saraswati beautiful so i come here for that and nothing else so he used to be very happy with me and later on he gave me a program for surmandal and uh-huh. uh, when we offered the money she said i am not going to take money whatever you want to give we wanted to give her a lakh of rupees she said give it to shankar netralay uh and uh i bank in uh, chennai uh-huh so that's how we came together and we have done that okay i guess even uh, uh kishori amonkar ji she 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 actually came and performed in your house uh, yeah. share share that a little was, more about that as well that was one of my biggest surprises because uh, i had a four day concert in hyderabad very near my house in an open ground and uh, she was performing on third day and her voice was not good at all she mm-hmm. in fact she phoned up a doctor in bombay and said i am unable to sing what should i do mm-hmm. he, he asked her to take some medicines and somehow she came on the stage and uh, once she came on the stage she ordered me mona chahad re you know company in front of the mic uh-huh. so the uh, officials of vst industries you know they are big shots they found uh, they found why is she uh, asking, asking you, you to... like you know yeah. she is uh, talking yeah. to a bearer of the restaurant i said no yeah. for me she is divine i don't mind doing anything for her because her mm. voice is divine for me mm. i went and gave her tea and after the event she said mon don't pay me money because i couldn't i couldn't sing well mm-hmm. so uh, when i when i sing next time you can pay money so i said mm-hmm. no you accept this money and next mm-hmm. time you sing for me free mm-hmm. and then uh, she said that tomorrow i am going and uh, then i asked her what about your tickets because normally we ask the person whether the return tickets are all okay because many a times these people don't 
book and read ticket. Yeah. So she said, not to worry, I'll go. And I know you are not going to come to the airport to see me off because yeah. Ravi Shankar and Alaraka are more uh, precious to you. I said, it's not that. They are going to perform for us. Yeah. And before going to the place of performance, they are coming to my house to have some chapati and something to eat because okay. they are going to perform the whole night. Yeah. So she said, don't worry, you carry on. And she went to the airport and next morning, I had a surprise. She said, uh, Mon, what, what is your city? I couldn't even go back to Bombay. I said, what was wrong? And she said, it was my mistake. I had an open ticket and okay. the flight was full. Uh -huh. But I'm going tonight. But what you do is, 12 o'clock, I have to check out. Otherwise, I have to uh, pay for the, the, pay next, for the yeah, yeah. next hotel. Whole yeah. day. Hmm. I said, not to worry. You stay there as long as you want. I'll pick you up in the evening and take you to the airport. So mm. She said, no, I'm coming at to your house at four o'clock. Mm. I want to sing for you and your wife. Beautiful. I want you to both to sit in front and listen to me. And my drawing room, as you might have seen, it had yeah. only about 20 people who could sit. Yeah. And when she started, she said, I am so happy today to sing before only 20 people. Even if I sing before 2,000 people, I won't get this, uh, you know, happiness. So she sang. Then at 8 o'clock, she had her dinner. And then I dropped her to the airport. And wow. I mean, she was very close to me. In fact, I had taken her to um, this place, uh, Raghavendra Swami Temple in uh, Andhra Pradesh itself. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place where... Uh, uh, Swamiji had a live uh, samadhi uh -huh. and she, she wanted to sing before the samadhi but they were not nobody was allowed okay. fortunately I knew the administrative officer who was then available at the place hmm. and he said uh, okay for 15 minutes I will allow you but don't tell anybody because this is an exception so yeah. she sang before the uh, Brindavan of Swamiji and she was so happy that she said, Mohan, any time you want me to do anything for you, I'm with you. I said, I only need your blessings. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You're one of the, you're one of the uh, founder yeah. members of the I Association of India. Uh, yeah. So, so how did that happen? The I Association of India was started by a dear friend of mine in Hyderabad. Uh, he, he was the main person who started the LV Prasad Eye Institute, mm. which is one of the biggest eye hospitals in India. Mm. Uh, Dr. G. N. Rao, he, he is a Rotarian friend of mine, and uh, he left Australia, uh, USA to come to India and start this hospital. And today, it's one of the five-star hospitals where 50% mm -hmm. are given free uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one day he called me and said, we want to start the iBank and I want you to become the founder member. Mm -hmm. So I definitely agreed because, uh, you know, doing something for humanity has always been close to me. Yeah. And whenever any, any of our community member passes away, mm. I used to tell the uh, relations, mm. we need her eyes. I, we, uh, and I had to explain that we don't take away the complete eye. It's yeah. only a small piece which is taken from the back. Mm -hmm. So, and this is what I used to tell the relations. And I used to get eye donations from not only our community people, but uh, being known to so many people. I used to go for funerals of so many friends. Mm -hmm. I used to get eye donations from many people. And fortunately, one of those days, uh, Again, this O and M people were very close to me. Uh, mm. This advertising, yeah. So they had offered me a free uh, video to be taken of any event because okay. I had done a, an event for them uh, called Rag Desh. You, okay. you must have heard. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sur Mera Tumara yes. was done by them, and uh, the second episode was uh, Rag Desh. Rag Desh, where they wanted Pandit Ravi Shankar to start. Mm. And Ravi Shankar was asking for money. So again, I was asked to be there and 
see that he doesn't charge. So I, I told him that Mileshwar Mera Tumara was also done for natural integration and this mm. also is for the same. Yeah. So you shouldn't charge because if you charge then uh, they will go to uh, Vilayat Khan or you know somebody yeah. who is your competitor. So mm. he agreed. Mm. And that's how uh, we, uh, the O&M people were so happy that I did that for them. Okay. So when I was with the iBank, I got an idea that Aishwara Rai had a beautiful eyes, I think yeah. green eyes. Mm -hmm. So I told them that why not we take her eye first and then show her face and then she will request people to pledge their eyes. Yeah, so that I remember how, that ad. Yeah. And that is how we got that done and won't believe lakhs of people uh, pledge their eyes because of her advertisement. Okay. I'm so happy for that. Absolutely. We are very short on time, but if you could quickly tell us about your recent association with uh, uh, Sparsh, which is a hospice. Yes. Uh, yeah, if you could share your more details. Sparsh is a place, uh, Sparsh Hospice is a place for terminal ill cancer patients. Hmm. And we give them treatment till the end of their life completely free. Mm -hmm. uh, it so happened that uh, in Bangalore, I was there for three months when my eldest brother, Dinkar, who was uh, responsible for bringing me up in life. Mm. So I was with him for the last three months, going to hospital and bringing him back. And, you know, then I saw the sufferings of people suffering from cancer. Mm. So that is when I saw, I mean, after the funeral, I was thinking, how could I take this over and do something good in Hyderabad? Mm. And it so happened that a friend of mine, an Amchi, mm. uh, was suffering from cancer. And uh, those last few days were so bad for him that ultimately they felt that uh, he should be shifted to Sparsh Hospice. Mm. So we took him there in the morning and you won't believe, evening he passed away. Mm. And when he passed away, there was a smile on his face, mm. when, which I thought, there must be something good which these people have done. So yeah. I met the doctors and nurses and I found that this was uh, Sparsh was sponsored by the Rotary Club of Banjarais. Mm. I used to be a club member in some other club, but I then when I saw what was happening, I said I must do something being in this club. So I started uh, donating myself in memory of my brother. Then mm. I also had uh, Shankar Mahadevan to perform for us. Mm -hmm. And you won't believe the house was packed. And mm -hmm. we could raise 50 lakhs from awesome. that event after expenses. Mm -hmm. It was a big amount. Of course, yeah. And uh, we had a 12-bed hospice. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, chief minister's son, Mr. KTR, KT mm -hmm. Ramarao, mm -hmm. he saw our work and mm -hmm. he said, he himself gave five lakhs to Sparish and said, come to my office. I want to do something more. Mm -hmm. You won't believe he gave us a land which was 1.3 acres. Mm -hmm. And there we have built an 82-bed modern hospice mm -hmm. where people can be taken care of. And mm -hmm. I'm closely involved with that as a volunteer. Yeah. I'm not a, uh, but I would like to do something because Again, I I worked for the mud for many years. I yeah. retired when I was 75 hmm. from the mud and I retired when I was 80 with Karla Mutt. Yeah. And now I feel music is one thing which I can't leave. And Sparsh is something which uh, gives me a lot of happiness because Absolutely, I can imagine. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. True. Thank you so much, Mohan God. So Absolutely. You know, when, when we when we started talking about this interview, I remember always you were saying it's not about, you know, being the legend. It's not, or not even about the community. It's about nation building. And that was always your focus. And you're, you're all you could do the best for the for the country as a whole. Thank you so much, uh, Mohan Mam uh, Hemadi, for joining us on Amchi Legends. It's a truly a pleasure one, and glad to have you. One last thing I Best must uh, yeah. tell you about. Uh, uh, I was invited to Bombay by the Kendra Saraswat Association. Uh -huh. uh, and at the Nehru Center, our beloved Swamiji was honoring 
people from our society uh-huh. for, on the centenary year of okay. Kendra Sarasa. Yeah. And I was fortunately chosen to be one among them. So I'm grateful to Kendra Saraswat and our community for having me. And recently we had uh, a concert of our young Amtis uh-huh. to sing for uh, uh, our I Asia, which is uh, based in Dallas. So uh-huh. these Amchi girls and boys sang and it was, became a big success. Hmm. All the, they are from K- Kendra Saraswat and Mr. Sunil Ullad was responsible to bring them over. Ah, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, you, you, you've been Thank in Hyderabad, you giving... so connected to our community. That's amazing. Pardon? Been in, been in Hyderabad, still you've been so well connected to our community across the pan, across pan India and the world, actually. That's, that's really good. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope to do something more because I am completing 86 years now wow. and my wife is 79 and we are completing 60 years of togetherness wow. and it is high time now that I take care of my wife and of course. Yeah. go on to be of help to her and also the community. On behalf of all the listeners of Amchi Legends, uh, wishing you and Jyoti Pachi, uh, you know, a very happy 60 coming together. And of course, from all of us here, uh, thank you so much once again for joining in on uh, Amchi Legends. A big thanks to Samir Haladi for arranging this interview, coordinating the behind the scenes, which is more important than the interview itself and marketing the show. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and truly amazing. I have enjoyed it. Yeah, yes, please. One thing I would like you to change. Uh, I don't think you should call me a legend because there are so many legends in our community. I am a... I'm simple worker of to be that, of some help. Absolutely. That that's that's where the that's where the simplicity uh, comes in, Mohan Mam. So much uh, thank you once again. Uh, wish you all the very best and and a very uh, happy married life in Hyderabad in years to come. Thank you, thank you so much once again. Thank you, Santosh Mam, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. And well, with that, we come to the end of this episode of Amchi Legends. Catch you again once again on another amazing episode in weeks and months to come. Bye-bye and take care.